Hello everyone and in today's video I am going to be talking about Ukraine. By the way a lot has changed since the last time I recorded. This is mostly because before my school I did not attend online classes. Now I do attend online classes. My school is open but I still attend online classes due to all the COVID-19 stuff you know and I uh, also bought a new headphone so I can listen better during my online classes but I also it is also attached with the mic so I can also record the videos better which is the first time me doing that so I hope the quality is a bit better and with that said let's begin Ukraine explained this is their flag a pretty simple one for a huge country like ukraine but huge countries often tend to have more simple flags like russia ukraine maybe even canada and it is located right here the dark green areas are the areas that are recognized and controlled by the ukrainian government the green areas are the areas that are disputed in wars or are recognized by the Ukrainian government and the rest of the world, but not by one country. Looking at you, Russia. <laughs> it borders Belarus. By the way, it borders Belarus to the north. Russia, its biggest enemy to the east. Um, Slovakia, Poland, and Hungary to the west and Moldova and Romania to the southwest and this thing which I don't remember name right now Caspian Sea yeah I guess it's Caspian no it's not Caspian Sea I don't remember the name and this is their what is it said coat of arms this you know they see it's coat of arms so it's a bit difficult their borders Ukraine is a country in Eastern Europe it is the second largest country in Europe after Russia with its border to the east and northeast. Ukraine also share borders with Belarus to the north, Poland, Slovakia and Hungary to the west, Romania and Moldova to the south and has a coastline along the Sea of Asian to end the Black Sea. Oh, it's called Black Sea. <laughs> it spans an area of 603,628 kilometers, aka 233,062 square miles, with a population of 41 million people. Its population has been declining since the fall of Soviet Union, by the way, and is the eighth most populous country in Europe. The nation's capital and largest city is Kiev. Here we have a very beautiful Orthodox Ukrainian church, I guess. History. History has a lot. The territory of modern Ukraine has been inhabited since 32,000 BC. During the Middle Ages, the area was a, wave, was a key center of East Slavic culture with the powerful state of Kievan Rus right here forming the basis of Ukrainian identity. Following its fragment into several principalities in the 13th century and the devastation created by the Mongol invasions, the territorial unity collapsed and the area was contested, ruled and divided by a variety of powers, including the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, Austria-Hungary, the Ottoman Empire and Russia. A Cossack Republic emerged and proposed and prospered during the 17th and 18th century but its territory was eventually split between Poland and Russian Empire. In the aftermath of the Russian Revolution, a Ukrainian national movement for self-determination emerged and the internationally recognized Ukrainian People's Republic was mo movement for self-determination emerged and the international was declared on 23rd June 1917 with the support of Germany. After the after WW2, the Western part of Ukraine emerged into the Ukrainian Soviet Socialist Republic and the whole country became a part of the Soviet Union. With Belarus, it was one of the Ukraine and Belarus were the only two members in the UN which were not nations. This was mostly because when UN was Decide and people countries were joining it. USSR thought that 
communist countries were outnumbered, so they wanted Belarus and Ukraine to get their own seats. And the whole country became a part of the Soviet Union. Ukraine gained its independence in 1991 following the dissolution of the Soviet Union. But things have not gotten better for Ukraine, unfortunately. WW2 Following the invasion of Poland in September 1939, German and Soviet troops divided the territory of Poland. Thus, Eastern Galicia and Volhynia, with the Ukrainian population, become part of Ukraine for the first time in history. The nation was united. In 1940, the Soviet annexed Bessarabia and Northern Bukovina. The Ukrainian SSR incorporated the northern and southern districts of Bessarabia, Northern Bukovina, and the Erza region, but it ceded the western part of, Mold of the Moldovan Autonomous Soviet Socialist Republic to the newly created Moldovan Soviet Socialist Republic. These territory gains and of the USSR were internationally recognized by the Paris Treaty, Paris Peace Treaty of 1947. Here we have a map of areas that were gained by Ukraine. As you can see, they lost these areas when the first Ukrainian states emerged to Russia, and they gained this from Slovakia, from Poland, from Romania, from Russia. Uh, during the USSR, uh, Russia gave them to Ukraine to make a better relationship, but after the fall of the USSR, yeah, you know what happened probably. Demographics. As of February 2021, Ukraine has an estimated population of 41.5 million people and is the 8th most populous country in Europe. It is a heavily urbanized country and its industrial regions in the east and southeast are the most densely populated. Since the western areas were part of Slovakia, Czechoslovakia, Poland, World War I, World War II mostly happened there, so they never really emerged that much. About 67% of its total population live in urban areas. Ukraine has a population density of 69.49 inhabitants per square mile, kilometers, 180 per square mile, and the overall life expectancy in the country at birth is 73 years, 68 for males and 77 for females, which means an average female lives 9 years more than a male. Following, this is following the messy dissolution of the Soviet Union, Ukraine population hit a peak of roughly 52 million people in 1993, which means Ukraine has lost 11 million people since then. However, due to its death rate exceeding its birth rate, mass immigration to Poland mostly and Russia, poor living condition and low quality health care, the total population decreased by 6.6 .6 million at 12.8% from the same year to 2014. I guess it also included the 2 million people who were now identified as Russian after 2014. Here we have a map of the all of the Soviet Socialist Republics. And the, here we have a map of when the natural growth rate declined, the birth rate declined, death rate accelerated. As you can see, the natural growth was already declining, natural growth was already declining, the birth rate was and the death rate was already getting higher, so yeah. Stuck to suck, I guess. Sad fact Ukraine is Ukraine with Moldova is considered the more one of the most poorest countries in Europe with Moldova. In terms of ethnicity, seventy seven percent of the population consider themselves as Ukrainians. 17.3% are Russians and 4.9% are other ones specified. Religion, not really that not really that heterogeneous, pretty homogeneous at 37.3% Christianity. 11% religious due to Soviet Union, I guess. 0.0% others and 0.09% were like meh, screw it. Uh, in terms of the norm, they are considered Ukrainian, they got this unit. Terry semi presidential constitution republic president is Volodymyr Zelenka, the prime minister is Denis Zemwanka, the chairman of the Verkhovrada is Dmitry Ratsuskos.
sorry for my accent. I'm not Ukrainian. I see. I don't speak Slavic languages. Legislator Verot Rada. I feel like I'm just making fun of myself at this point. Uh, first was Kiev and Rus, then the Christianization of Kiev, Kingdom of Rotinia, the Manat, Ukrainian People's Republic, Independence from Russia, Western Ukrainian People's Republic, Act of Unity Independent from USSR, Referendum Current, Constitution, current constitution Revolution of Dignity, which happened during, during the year that Crimea was also included. There's only 21 estimates, 41 million people, excluding Crimean Sevastopol. Uh, in 2001, it was 48 million, the density is 73.8 kilometers, people. Uh, the total GDP is growing at 429,947 billion and 48. The per capita, 10,310 and 108. Yeah, that is not a good number. I thought to compare it with Africa, but no, apparently Africa and Ukraine seems the same. Apparently. Um, but yeah, a lot of countries like in Africa and like Algeria, Tunisia, Libya, Egypt, Botswana, South Africa is the same as, as Ukraine, maybe even worse, maybe even worse than that. And the genie is 26.6, low. I don't know if it's a good thing, a bad thing. I don't I don't even know what this genie means at this point anyways. In January 2016, Ukraine joined the Deep and Comprehensive Free Trade Area, Green, with the EU Blue, established by the Ukrainian European Union Association Agreement, opening its paths towards European integration. The same goes for Moldova and Georgia. The country of Georgia, not the state of Georgia. These are all the administrative divisions of Ukraine, including the Crimean Peninsula. Yeah, I tried to make my accent, but it didn't go very well. Um, let's see. Here we have a map of people identifying as Russian in Ukraine. As we can see, this area, Crimea, oh no, Sevastopol, has the most Russian, that's why Russia annexed it at 90.6%, followed by Crimea at 77.6%, this area 74.9%, this area 68.8%, and the rest area, yeah, not so much. Yeah, I guess this area is the lowest at 1.2%. But yeah, current Ukraine is pretty diverse overall. Of course, there's a small Romanian Moldovian population of 0.8 but 0.08 percent, Belarus in 0.6 percent, Crimean Tatars at 0.05 percent, Bulgarian 0.4 percent, Hungarian 0.3 percent, Poles 0.3 percent, and others including 1.4 percent. In terms of the most populated cities or towns in Ukraine. Kiev is the most populated with 2 million people, nearly 3 million people, followed by Krike, Odessa, Dnipro, Doetska, Zaporizhka, Lviv, Krivnia, Movkornia, and Maripulol. Let's see more. And that's it for today. I guess there are things that I missed out since Ukraine is a big country with a lot of diversity. Diversity meaning Ukraine, Russia, and nothing else. Uh, and a lot of, unfortunately, immigration due to a lot of poverty, like $10,000. Yeah, even Mr. Beast gives more than $10,000 to, like, literally. Mr. Beast gives, like, $20,000, $30,000 little bit to people like that. Which would mean that if a Ukrainian person with an average of 10 grand per year, if he does that, like if he is in the Mr. Beast so and he wants like $100,000, he, he would have made the same money that he won, like, I don't know, I uh, an hour, um, an hour, $100,000 in 10 years. Yeah, this does not sound very fun. 
Especially when you realize that, like uh, here in Canada, Canada houses cost like seven hundred thousand dollars, which would mean you have to work seventy years to earn seven hundred thousand dollars to buy a house. Yeah, that doesn't sound fun at all. But anyways, if you enjoyed the video, click the like button, share this video with your family and friends, and if you have not already. What are you waiting for? Subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.